there you are, I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm really pleased to have seen you. Anyway, welcome back to the channel, Loving Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew, and today I brought you down to Santa Ponza. It's going to be a big look around. We're going to look at everywhere, all the corners. I'm so excited, you know, I've been here for a year. Last time I was here, it was so quiet. This is completely different. This is going to be huge. So without further ado, let's get on with the walk. You really don't appreciate how big Santa Ponsa is, do you? Now the steps there, there's hundreds of them. As you know, I can't go into any beach, can I? Without having a little paddle. So this, today's going to be an exception at all. Loads of people down here, aren't they? Cool, so. Let's go get my feet wet. Oh, that's, that's lovely, really, really bliss, lovely and warm. I've got a people swimming, loads in there. Love to see people enjoying themselves. That's what makes it all, doesn't it? Anyone fancy a bit of paddle boarding? The pedalos out there, it's lovely to see so many down there. It's really is summer, isn't it? And this is just the 7th or 8th of July. So we've still got a good couple of months left before the summer's all finished. It's lovely out here till the end of November, actually. It's beautiful. Let's go and see what's about up the town a bit further. So what I'm going to do is walk up towards the roundabout with the tree on it and then take a right, as per normal, I haven't got any plans at all. Just take a right there, I need to get knocked over by a bicycle, but it's a different, different story, isn't it? And then just have a general look to see what's about. Have a look, look at the square here. I know it's during the day, it's only 20 past one. So it's going to be fairly quiet in the town, but You'll get the idea, see how many shops are open and different things like that. So this is the roundabout of the trees I was just saying a minute ago. So I'm going to be taking a right hand side here. Hello. Hello. I love it when people say hello to me like that. Everyone wants to get in the videos, don't they? I think it's so sweet, you know, so nice. I mean, in theory, everything should be open now, shouldn't it? Let's just keep our fingers crossed that they are. It's looking positive so far, isn't it? Looks better, doesn't it? Just with tables and chairs, even if it's an evening thing here, mostly in the restaurants it's nice to see the tables and chairs outside ready down here we've got a little mini golf this was completely closed last time I was here and it was looking quite quite sad for itself if you like there's a little cafe restaurant there with a few pool tables it's nice actually, the cafe's open, people are playing pool there. I'm hearing a bit of music coming out of the bars. It's just starting to remind you like it was what it was like the other year, isn't it? This evening it'll be a lot of a lot busier in the evenings because obviously everybody's at the swimming pool, hotel swimming pools and down the beach and whatever they do in the, in the daytime. Because it's exceptionally hot, it's about 32 degrees today, I think the car said. Got That's not bad is it, two pints of lager five quid, two cocktails nine. 
There's special offers everywhere, isn't it? Just have to go looking for them. Rebels bar. <laughs> I know a few rebels. And of course you've got the tour shops and you're selling the lie lows and different bits and pieces for the beach and the swim pools. There's loads of them, loads of different ones. Well, I'm going to turn around now because this is probably the, the end of it now, isn't it, I'd imagine. It's normally round about here where I turn around and have a look at the other side of the road. So the idea is going to be to walk back towards the roundabout with the tree and carry on over the road there. Have a little look what's happening that side of the road. She's getting a little bit busy now because we're heading more towards the, the main area. Gonna have a look, walk up the side up the road. And then I have a look what the square's like, the centre. Maybe get a drink, a bite to eat or something along the way. And also you'll find all the, I might say all of them, a lot of the hotels were along here as well. Yeah, it's definitely a, a year has made a, a big difference. Well, it's the whole island actually, hasn't it? But I've noticed it, especially here with this, with this walk, because obviously I only come here now and then. So I've noticed a great big difference between this time last year and where we are now. So the same thing you can see here, Lots of apartments, hotel blocks, etc., etc., it's coming a bit more out of the town. But it's still got shops, restaurants, and things up here. And at the top of this road, you'll find the square as well. Just crossing the road again, I know there's a lot of shops up here up for sale for rent and things haven't opened this year pine point must have been hard must have been it was hard for everyone wasn't it this is where you can if I climb the steps I would have ended at the top of that slope there I'm going to take a left now towards the square there's a few more shops down here nice little um cake shop <laughs> you know how much I love my cakes don't you my sweets and things so we're going to pop in to Penny's tea room so it's just down here you always get a friendly welcome from Penny I must admit and they're just next door, that's the square. So this is Penny, so you get all slight cake, tea cakes, afternoon tea and that sort of thing, everything in here. It's all made by itself as well. It's only a small little shop, but it's lovely. Really recommend it. So I've opted for a cream tea, and that's the tea there. But the question is, what way do you do it? Do you do the jam and the cream, or the cream and the jam? That's a big question, isn't it? Put it down in the comments below. Tell me what you do. Cream and jam or jam and cream? God, that was really nice, that was. A nice chat to Penny like normal as well. So, I'm gonna go for a little walk now down to the square, see what that looks like. It's half past two now. It's, the heat has really come out. It's lovely though, I must admit. So this is a square, you'll find a little bit of evening entertainment. Just I imagined at the moment everywhere is closed. Because it's more the evenings, this place will get going. A little bit for the for the children, should I say? A pool table or three? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's definitely more of a an evening place. I've been told it gets very busy round here in the evening with meals and drinks and fun and games, should I say. A trampoline set up. I shall come down within the next month or two to sort of when the season really gets kicking off and I'll come and do a, an evening walk around, sunset and things. That'd be quite nice. So I've left the square behind me now because I'm just going to continue the walk around the corner a little bit more. There's a few more hotels we're going to see as we go around. So even if you are staying around here and you've got walking issues, should I say, and you rely on um, a scooter, that sort of thing, you can get across the road because there are drop curbs. So you haven't really got, until you get around the corner a bit more, you haven't really got much of an issue with crossing the roads in um, a wheelchair mobility scooter, that, that sort of thing. You're, you're pretty well covered, I would say. Just a little bit of forward thinking about where you're going to cross. Like here, you see, nice drop curb on a, a little crossing. And all's good. So I just continue the walk, just round it. It's like a loop. The square is just on the right hand side, just up there somewhere. So I'm just looping around the, um, the square a little bit. But you've got some beautiful views as we walk along above uh, the sea and things. Should take one of the little little paths down in a minute and show you what we can see as we get a little bit closer. When you come down here in the evening, you get some beautiful sunsets just at the bottom of these steps, just along here. It's um, just lovely just to span there. You get loads of people there. It's the other side of there, just across the little bridge we'll see in a minute. And you just walk around the corner there and you get this little bar around there. You get loads of people and it's a lovely atmosphere. So I made it down the bottom of the steps. There's a little cafe, hotel here as well, a little restaurant. And these beautiful views to come out. So I was saying if you follow this path here, then it just walks around the corner a little more. And you've got a little cafe bar just round there. It's, I was just, just lovely just found it. Just have, sit down, have a little drink, watch the sunset of an evening. So if you want to come to a little beach, not that far out of Santa Ponza, and you just want a little bit of peace and quiet without everybody from the main beach, then maybe it's worth coming here for a little bit. So it's Cala Blanca. And of course, what goes down must come up. So I've got to attack the steps and then we'll We'll proceed the way we came and we'll have a look at some of the front of the hotels and we'll walk to the um walk to the beach from a different way. So I'm gonna take these these steps down now. And they have a lovely 
a lovely look along this sea itself down there. God, this is just lovely. Very rocky down here. You would really have to mind your feet if you come down here, but it's quite a fun little walk actually to be honest with you, all over the cliffs. I'll just note it's a little path there. That would have been a lot easier, wouldn't it? And I've ended up in the front of a hotel. So different, isn't it, to the sandy beach of around the corner on the main Santa Ponsa beach. Come out to all these rocks. That's lovely, lovely little place to just have a little look around. So just by the square again, just gone round, heading down here back towards the beach in front of the hotels and we'll take a nice walk round to Santa Ponsa Sandy Beach by the front of the hotels which is a lovely little walk. A few steps down here as you can see, we've got this beautiful view just here of the, the sea. It's just so special. Just look at the colour of the sea. It's perfect. It's a beautiful colour in it. It really is. I just love all these little Coves that just around here. And again, there's lots of hotels, uh, apartments, that sort of thing down here. It's loads of them. As far as, I, as far as I can see, there's rooms down this part. It's a nice little place, isn't it? I don't know if you can see it. Right in the middle there, there's a boat sinking. We can see it's a little bit of white. These ladies have told me it's been there for a few days just bobbing up and down. It hasn't actually sunk completely yet. It looks absolutely beautiful from the sky, doesn't it? Let's have it in the drone. So I'm just making my way around to the, the sandy beach. Past all these lovely hotels, apartments, that sort of thing. And it's just beautiful. It's, I say all the time, but as the sun hits the sea, but the patterns it makes. So if you do a boat excursion, that sort of thing, that's where you meet the boat just there. It's like the, the high speed yellow boat at the end.
Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's like something completely different, isn't it? Just walk around the next corner, you find just this nice rocks. Plenty of seats along here, you know, and it's again because it's we're on wood. This is ideal for um wheel chairs and that sort of thing along here. And then we'd be back at the beach. So I'm just now going to walk down the down to the beach and have a look at some of the restaurants, shops, bars, that sort of thing you find down the bottom. So I've rejoined the path now. I'm gonna head round this way. Nice little path um, cut through if you like. That's just off the beach itself, but it's just nice to walk round here. Nice little beach bar open. Right, to the end of the path now. If I turn left there, I would go towards the roundabout, the taxi rank, the buses, and a few cafes just down there. If we're gonna be taking a right, which you'll see a few more restaurants just up the um, up the hill a little bit there. It's a lovely little fountain. But it'd be quite nice to get in there, wouldn't it? About a few people get in there and take the sand off their feet before they get out, go home, don't they? We're back to the hotels. onto the the main road said so I shall be turning right to the top to have a look at a few more restaurants there are along there and a few tourist shops and different bits and pieces along there then we'll come back and have a look at um, some of the restaurants on the other side of the road there's always a lovely view of the beach isn't there that's what we come here for isn't it the beach because if I carried on walking up this road here I would get to the port marina or whatever you'd like to call it. That's up the top of here. But I'm not gonna walk that far today because we've done it lots of lots of times and we filmed it, so I'm just gonna just walk up here, see what's up up this way, just a little bit further. A lot of these restaurants have like the little little pathways, a few of them coming down here. They've got some Beautiful views of the of the sea itself and all round there. There's plenty of tourist shops as well. So your t-shirts, your buckets and spades. And your place to have your nice meal. So anyway, I'm going to call it a, a day walking up this part. So I said you can walk down any of these little avenues and you can see 
little pathways and see the lovely beach down the bottom and things. So I'm going to cross the road now and walk backwards and have a look at the shops on the other side. So you can see there's plenty of restaurants to choose from around here. Ice creams. It's rude not to have a look at them, isn't it? And then just down here, it's a little treat. It's sort of like the TARDIS for a better word. It's called the watering hole. It's a little cafe, come restaurant. Here we are, just here now. It's got a swimming pool at the back. Let's go and have a drink inside. Oh, it's quite, quite a fascinating little place, actually. It doesn't look much from the outside, but when you get in there, it, it comes in a jump. It's lovely. So it's out at the back here. So I said, unless you know it's here, it's quite a little treat really, isn't it? A little swimming pool, have a drink, have a meal, and have a swim at the same time. So I had a little drink in there. I'm just gonna, Walk down into the roundabout where you'll find all the taxis, the buses, the things that take you all over the place. And then we'll take you up to what I always call the old, the old shops. It's all for the, um, for the locals, if you don't want me, you'll find. Or the proper shops, should I say, up there. So this is the, the bus place, bus stop just there. And you'll find the taxis a little bit further around. So I'm saying this is where you'll find the local shops. This most of the places up here are actually open during the winter months. So if I come down here, film during the winter, I always get myself something, something to eat, something to drink up this up this road here. There's a few other bits and pieces open, but honestly, it's not a great deal open in Santa Ponza, apart from the local places. Tell you what, if we want an inflatable, this is definitely the place to buy one. Look at all those. Every size going, I think it's just got there, or they've got there, I should say. Now we're just approaching um, a hotel called Pirates Village, which is very well known in Santa Ponta. It's been closed for a long time because of the virus and everything, but I'm pleased to say it's, it is reopened now. And it, it really does look quite something from the outside. That's in that little model of it they've made. Definitely something, isn't it? It always impresses me this place does actually because it's it's very modern from the inside where we are now the you know, swimming pool looking at the apartments but when you're outside it's got just character you know what i mean it's totally different What's that? so i think it looks really nice in there for a, a holiday and with a little bit of um atmosphere should i say you know so that's a pirate's village in Santa Ponza.
This is why I said I think this road is mainly aimed at locals because it's like a, a dentist there, estate agents, a couple of mobile phone shops, even the um, restaurant, cafe, bars. They're open in the winter months, but it's mostly um, Spanish paellas and things like that you get in that sort of food. So it's really nice to come down here in the winter. It's not especially cold. So I walked back down the road, nearly at the roundabout where we saw the, the buses and the taxis earlier. I'm gonna take a walk now up, this, up the seafront back towards the car, where I'll be finishing the, um, the video. They bring the sides down here to keep the shops a bit cooler in the in the red hot part of the day. Well, I hope you liked today's film in Santa Ponza. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget the Facebook page, Loving Life Mallorca. And I'll see you all in the next film. Bye for now.